Good morning, I'm Yolanda Vasquez, and here's what people are talking about this morning. Bitter bone chilling cold. Central Maryland is under a wind chill advisory this morning as temperatures plummet. Looking ahead, is there more snow in our future? Only one man knows. Tim Williams is in the first warning weather center with a look at what could be heading our way. Good morning, Tim. More snow? Breaking news out of Iraq this morning. Three U.S. soldiers are killed when a roadside bomb is detonated near Kirkuk. This latest violence comes just hours after a car bomb explodes outside a police station in Mosul, killing at least nine people and wounding as many as 45 others this morning. And just minutes ago, British Airways cancels three flights to Washington and Miami. The latest terror warning is specific to transatlantic flights. Vic Carter has the details. A critical weekend is here for the seven Democratic presidential candidates. On Tuesday, seven states will hold important primaries, including neighboring Delaware. As Mary Bubala reports, that's where frontrunner John Kerry made an appearance last night. WJZ Eyewitness News. A Baltimore County man is at shock trauma this morning after police say his wife ran over him with her car. Investigators tell Eyewitness News it happened last night in Towson on Ridgely Oaks Road. The unidentified woman is charged with attempted murder after allegedly running over her husband twice. Investigators in Maryland and California are unfolding a murder mystery. Police discover the bodies of two men buried under concrete in San Bernardino County. Authorities in Houston say the third Super Bowl since the September 11th attacks will be as secure as the previous two. More than 25 agencies will be keeping a watchful eye on the city this weekend at a cost of well over a million dollars. A new security fence has been erected around Reliant Stadium. Metal detectors have been put in place. There will also be a no-fly zone over the stadium tomorrow. We'll be back with more, so stay tuned. Good morning, I'm Yolanda Vasquez. Tim will have the complete first warning forecast coming up in a few minutes, but now here's what people are talking about this morning. Baltimore County police are working around the clock to solve the brutal murder of a 15-year-old girl. Officers are making progress but say they need your help to crack this case. Police found Katrina Johnson's body last week burned and dumped in Gwynvale Park in Pikesville, Baltimore County. Mike Helgren has the latest. Baltimore City Police are searching for the driver who hit an 8-year-old boy early this morning and kept on going. It happened here in the 4700 block of Greenspring Avenue just after 1 o'clock. Police say the boy was riding a scooter when a van struck him. He was rushed to Sinai Hospital with head injuries. And there is new information to report this morning on the investigation into the disappearance of Lori Hacking in Salt Lake City, Utah. Family members called off a volunteer search effort for the 27-year-old pregnant woman last week. In a statement released this morning, the family says they called it off because of information they received from Lori's husband, Mark. Well, the most expensive team in baseball proved to be too much for the Baltimore Orioles. Two solo home runs by All-Stars Alex Rodriguez, A-Rod, and Gary Sheffield sealed the deal for the New York Yankees. The Yankees went on to beat the O's 6-4. Chuck Starn on that one. And we'll have more news, weather, and sports coming up, so stay tuned.